Hi guys, watched an excellent video by Ivydale Science and Technology Services. Uh, he calls it a Corex Creeper and it, it's a brilliant variation on the theme of the bristle bugs that you see lots of videos about. He um, calls it a Corex Creeper because he uses what I'd call corrugated plastic. It's like corrugated cardboard but it's made out of thin plastic. I haven't got any of that. So I'm going to use a good old piece of cardboard from the supermarket trays. Um, he uses an electric motor that he puts an offset weight on to make it vibrate. Well, I'm going to use one of my motors out of my favourite vibrating toothbrushes. Um, he uses a little battery case to put the battery in. I'm going to use the case that comes with these LED lights that I got from the bargain store. In fact, this particular battery case has a little uh, resistor in there to protect the diodes, diodes, LEDs. Um, so I'll take that out because we don't need it. And then for the legs, he uses some large pipe cleaners, as I'd call them. So I've got these from the bargain store for a pound. I think these are even bigger than the ones he used. Um, oh, and I'll find a couple of eyes somewhere to make it look like a bug. So we need some of them. We need these that I've already got some that I've used before. So there's the battery case. As I say, I've taken the little resistor out because I don't need it and that's one of the motors that come out of the vibrating toothbrush and you'll see it's already got a weight on it that makes it vibrate. In fact this convenient battery pack's got a switch on it so I can switch it on and off. So that's going to give us our vibration. So I'll cut myself a piece of cardboard you need it, you can't even see on this one, you need it so that the corrugation goes across the body so that we can poke those pipe cleaners through the holes to make legs. While my hot glue gun's warming up, I'll just stick a bit of this glittery card onto the body to make it look a little bit prettier. Interesting. Right, hot glue gun. I need the battery case well, somewhere on it and the motor. That little weight the size of it means that it won't actually touch the ground at all even if we put it right in the middle somewhere so we don't need to worry about it going over the end normally when you have one of these offset weights you've got to make sure it doesn't hit anything but that's going to be quite all right in the middle there so stick that in tidy up the wires a bit. I just think I could put a bit of hot glue on them to hold them in place. A 
the actual wire that comes with this battery case is pretty um, pretty poor quality. It does actually break quite easily when you've soldered it. So that's probably a good idea to put some hot glue there to stop it vibrating around. I'll put a link to one of my help files that shows you how to take one of these toothbrushes apart and get the motor out. So have a look in the video description for that because I'm not going to take that one apart because I've already got that one from a previous project. Right, now we're going to use these for the legs. They're not particularly strong and we certainly don't need them to be that long. I just think at the very least we can cut them in half. Let's just do a test. All right, it needs to be long enough to come down and clear the battery compartment. There we are. I've actually shortened the legs because they were much too weak and we've now got seven legs on each side. And I've put a couple of eyes on it. That's brilliant. <laughs> and if you play around with the angle of the legs, you can change the direction it moves.